I think it is completely correct that black America has to stop blaming white America for all of its problems or that those blacks who do that need to stop you know because there are a lot of things that we as black Americans can do to succeed in life we can put a premium on education and stop criticizing those who go to school, stay in school, get, in get educated, and when they come out sound very intelligent, speaking proper English, you know, and sound very intelligent when they speak. We need to uh, admire and exalt people like that instead of putting them down saying they bougie or they, they white, they done turned white or something, you know. Because just because a, a black person uh, speaks intelligent mean, doesn't mean they sound in white. They're sounding intelligent. They sound in like they have a good command of the English language. You know, they don't have to be speaking bonics or speak, or speak slang in order to be authentically black. That's just a ridiculous idea. And it needs to be killed in the black community. You know, because, uh, you know, enough is enough. You know, we, we have to learn to strive for excellence. Um, you cannot sit around complaining about uh, how bad it is for us as a people. And then don't do the things that whites and Asians and others do to succeed. Things like going to school and staying in school and then going on to college. You know, so that they can come out and get good jobs. You know. You cannot uh, do all the wrong things in the world and not do the things that lead to success and then sit back and blame somebody else because you're a failure. That's insanity. Now, I as a black man, I'm part Native American, but as a black man, because I'm not really in, part, in touch with my Native American side, I wish I did know my Native American relatives, but it just didn't work out that way. But I, as a black man, know better than anybody that we are discriminated against. There is prejudice and there, there's racism against black people. And it, sometimes it hinders us. It hindered my father on his job, you know. But there are things he could, you know, there are things that can be done to over, overcome it. You know, you can sue. You can fight. If you feel like you're being discriminated against you don't have to take it and you know you just have to make sure you respond in the right ways when you face racism and prejudice you know you can't react out of anger and lash out and get thrown in jail for uh, uh, assault or whatever like one of my cousins did he got he was harassed by whites and he responded by lashing out in violence and they sure was quick to throw him in jail while uh, not doing anything to the whites that had harassed him and even shoved him, you know, so, but he got in trouble for what he did. So, I mean, when you know that you are behind the eight ball as a minority, that should make you even more careful not to violate the law, even more careful to watch your step, you know, even more careful to, to do everything you can to get a good education, even more careful to not break the law. There are just too many of us that break the law and we know the law is going to come down harder on us than it will whites or Asians or anybody else, but we break it anyway. It's ridiculous, and you cannot blame whites for that. You cannot blame whites if you decide to be a criminal. You cannot blame them for that. That is insanity. You know, there, yes, it was unfair that they was giving those who were convicted of crack possession more time than those convicted of powder cocaine possession. And, uh, and, you know, crack charges or being convicted of crack-related offenses carried more time than being convicted of powder cocaine-related offenses. That is up until last year. And it was beyond a doubt a racist policy because blacks were the ones always getting caught with crack and whites were the ones always getting caught with powder cocaine. So, yes, we have a racist judicial system. It's not fair. And it comes down on 
minorities harder than whites and it's, it's a common thing it comes down on the poor harder than it does the rich it's more like the American injustice system but the way you keep from getting caught up in that type of racism and prejudice situation racism and prejudice situation is to not anything, do anything to get locked up to obey the laws of the land stay your butt in school get a college education and do what your mama tell you to do if you're young if your mama is telling you to do this and do that and you just insist on doing the right th on doing the wrong thing uh, staying out all night uh, staying all, all night and partying and clubbing in places that you know where a lot of trouble gets started or a lot of gang activity goes on then if you end up in jail if you you know you did it to yourself so we as a people have to learn to make the right choices. We have to learn, like this brother in the video I'm responding to, we have to learn to take responsibility and stop blaming other people all the time. You know? I mean, there, there are a few situations in which you might end up get, going to jail because somebody planted drugs on you. Maybe you're black youth and a white police officer planted drugs on you just because he don't like black people. That can happen. It has happened and it probably will continue to happen. And all kind of things will continue to happen of a, of a racist and prejudiced nature, nature that, that will prevent some minorities from making it. But for the vast majority of the time, if you don't make it in life, if you don't succeed, it's not due to something that you couldn't avoid or it's not due to somebody framing you or it's, not, it's due to you not doing what you should have done. It's due to you not striving for excellence. It's due to you letting knucklehead people get you into trouble or talk you into doing things you shouldn't be doing. It's because you could not refrain from having unprotected sex. You know, it's because you wanted to make easy money by selling drugs instead of, and wanted to make a lot of money fast instead of going about it the right way and getting an honest job and going to school so you could make a lot of money you know so I just pray that someday more of my people all of my people and basically all of all people regardless of race will make the right choices and, and, and succeed in life and never have a cause to blame somebody else for their failures because that really sucks and it's really lame so uh, God bless and keep everybody. Take care.